Hello everyone, this is TCGM, and this is my tutorial on how to create a piston door. Yes, I have made a pretty good design, and let's get right into it. So you're going to need some stone, or whatever material that your house is made out of. The walls of your house, that is. You're going to need sticky pistons, and, um, let's see here... redstone, quite obviously, and a re two redstone torches. Where are they? There they are. And two stone or wood pressure plates. I'm going to go with stone. Okay then, so, first thing you do is place this. Booyah! Hey look, you have a piston. Okay, place another one. That was pretty easy, right? Nah, uh, it gets a little harder. Put this, put this bingo. Now, depending on what the space you want, I use a two space here. It's kind of like the only... never mind. Okay, so since this is retracted and it will push when, op when the pistons are extended, they will push the blocks here. Then here's one block, and since you're going to make pistons on the other side, here's another block. And here it is. That's where the stone goes in retracted mode and then you put pistons on the other side like that you have to have t sticky pistons other pistons will not work here is this this pistons um, transfer power to other pistons down one block so that is quite useful yeah okay and this and this and uh... this oh god dang it this, this, this. Okay then, so, you probably want to seal this up, as it's kind of ugly. I will do, that'll be what it looks like in the, this, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk today. This will be to look, what it looks like in the, uh, never mind, okay. So, it is sealed up there. Now, you have to put redstone here. And what this redstone basically does is it transfers power to the torch, turning off the torch when the redstone is powered. That is extremely important because when the torch is turned off or removed, then the pistons retract. And it works both ways on both sides. Yeah. Okay then, so do this and this on the, that side. Okay. And I'm going to need a gold pickaxe stack. So, but I can't get stacks in single player, so I'm just going to use a diamond pickaxe. Okay. Now, as this is the hallway, you don't really need that there. So I have no idea why I just put that there, and you can't have it there anyway, so yeah. Don't put that there. Don't do what I did. Don't mess up. Don't mess up like that. Jump, jump, jump. What am I doing? I can fly. Okay. So then you have this hallway, right? Now, I'm going to need a diamond shovel to... Not a diamond sword, a diamond shovel. Okay, so, depending on where you want your pressure plates to be, which will activate the door, whether you want to pause in front of the door for a little bit, you would put your so, uh, pressure plates here. If you don't want to pause and have the door open precisely as you walk through it, put them here. I will do that there. Okay then, so, you go down, dig down, dig down another one, there we go, and you have to access under there somehow, so dig under and replace the stuff, I guess, I mean, and this is sand, isn't it, god, okay, I'm stupid, <sighs> so anyways, now that the floor is back in, there, okay. Put there, there, there. Okay. Now, since the pressure plates are under, are on top of this block, we need to put something here. That. Now you can do this either way. You can do it like this. Or you can do it. 
like this. It doesn't matter. It has absolutely no performance difference whatsoever. It just depends on what you like to look at when you're modifying your redstone circuits. And that's pretty much it. You then have to get out of the place you just trapped yourself in somehow. So I'm going to mine that, get up, and put that there. Okay, so see the, see the torches over here are on, making the pistons stay extended. So, just walk on the plate, and boom! Ta-da! And it works for the other side, too. I'll do that, just for the sake of completeness. But, uh, that is the design of my piston door. It works extremely well, as you just saw. Very easy to set up. Not much redstone needed. No knowledge needed, as... No knowledge of redstone needed, as I just kind of told you how to do it. So, yeah. That is messed up. There we go. Okay. Bing. I like to do it this way. It just looks better to me. When I'm modifying my redstone circuits, you can do it any other way, as I just said. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Seal. S no. Seal. Now, you may want to cover this up. I mean, you can put it inside the wall if you want. And I just ran out of stone. I personally put it inside the wall. It makes it look nice inside of a base. Looks like just a wall that opens and closes. One ca caution I must make sure you understand. There cannot be a block above that, or else that happens. There cannot be a block above this torch unless it is air. That is something you have to make sure does not happen. Because otherwise, it will just glitch out like that. Because the redstone torch supplies power to the block above it, which supplies power to the redstone here, which is turning off the torch, so it goes around and around and around and around and in this loop until it burns out the torch. Yeah. So it's not a good idea. Bing, 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 bing. Oh, and I'm out of stone again. There we go. And we now... Oh. And also, you cannot put, put a block there because it blocks off this redstone. It doesn't work anymore. Okay. So that has been my tutorial on how to create a piston door. I mean, this has been my tutorial. I'm not very focused today. And, uh, yeah, so that, that's it, basically. And I need to make OCD happy, so there we go. So yes, that is my piston door design. And feel free to use it if you wish. Okay, this is CCGM signing off. See you later.